Champagne Velvet was a beer uh, that was really popular, huge volume um, in the middle of the 20th century. We uh, started it out in about 19, early 1900s, uh, 1901. The recipe uh, came from a German immigrant. The beer we're brewing is based off of a recipe that was found in an old brewing notebook by one of the brewing assistants at the original Terre Haute Brewing Company between probably around 1901 to 1904, somewhere in that range, right when Champagne Velvet was coming out. At one point it was apparently one of the most widely distributed beers in the country. That was probably pre-prohibition, but then it came back in the, in the 50s and 60s. Their volume was, I mean, it was one of the biggest beers in Indiana. Uh, I believe their brew house capacity was 450,000 barrels. Uh, so really a huge popular beer in Indiana. So part of the project has been to brew an authentic, modern lager based off of that pre-prohibition recipe. The ingredients available to us now aren't really the same as, as what brewers back uh, in the, around the turn of the century had to deal with. So we're trying to find ingredients that will get us as close to that flavor um, as we can. For example, the corn that they used was in more, in more of a raw form, but we now have a version of that corn called flaked flaked corn, flaked maize, where it's pre-gelatinized, so it's ready to use in the mash. So it should give us a similar flavor profile to what they were, uh, what they were getting with just a different process. It's great to stay connected with, you know, Indiana's heritage and produce a beer that, you know, Hoosiers back in, you know, 40, 50 years ago were drinking that, you know, today we can, we can commemorate that beer and make it just as special as it was back when it was first produced. Something that I think once people get a chance to drink it and, and see that you can have a Pilsner that's still got a lot of flavor and brewed in the German tradition, uh, that I think it'll, it'll do well. To commemorate a beer that you know, Indiana can be really proud of and linking that with, um, with us celebrating with our 15th really is a great way, uh, again, to, to celebrate uh, Champagne Velvet, celebrate uh, the Indian heritage.